seeing how my mum would be upset about that situation so it was like going to school and then doing well and kind of well in school but not well in my behaviour in school was like my main issue um, in life like in general like I became an aggressive person just through like the type of life that I wanted to live like in school what happened is in year 8 I got kicked out for like fighting and like I enjoyed it but for some foolish reason I enjoyed it um, and then I got sent to a boxing academy basically like you have um, like boxing as a lesson like gym as a lesson so like things that allow you to take out your aggression and then you still do like math, science, English and IT and I went there and everyone was like mad that like, they were actually like that like, I was living it like just through the way I had grown up but they were like doing everything like they were in, the, in some in, insane place and I was just like, bro, this place is mad. I don't want to really be here still. Like, I could join them and it could just be fun, but they want to like, actually live a life and make some money and stuff like that. So when I was doing the lessons there, like, I was doing them properly and stuff like that. And then I did well in the test there, so we sent me back to school. And then I did well in the test in school, but I was still bad. <laughs> Because obviously I didn't get in trouble. It was like, oh, you went there and got sent back. And I was the only one that got sent back. So I was like, I was gassed about it. So I was like, I went there and now I'm back. So no one can chat rubbish to me. The school can't chat rubbish to me. People can't chat rubbish to me. And now I've got some new like, friends. And then I was like realizing that a lot of people that were doing these things were just very broken. At the same time, like, when I go to the house and shout, be like, oh, like, you're like, broken. Like, you don't even chat to your parents at all, like you just walked in and I walked in and they walked in and we're all here now and we're smoking in your house. Like it was like that and I was just like, whoa. And when I go home, my mum's like, you're home late. What's going on? This is mad. You know what I'm saying? Like even though like there were certain people that she knew that were living that life, it was just never a thing in our house, you know what I'm saying? So with all those things that like, tying together, like school and like teachers that like, started to help me and stuff, um, like, I tried to do everything to get rid of this, like, mindset that I had, that, like, doing bad was good. Um, so I started doing bare sports, so I started with football, and I did, like, pretty well at football, but, like, I wasn't enjoying it, I wasn't enjoying it, so then I started doing really shit at football, so I was like, oh, this is dead, so I went back to the road thing for a bit, didn't tell my mum I was really doing anything like that, then went back to, like, doing basketball, then I did really well in that. And then I went back and then I did athletics. I was just trying everything. And then just going back to the road. And every time I was going back, like I was seeing like how scary everyone was getting, like, because they weren't actually trying to improve their lives, like they were just chilling there. I was always dancing, like just through school, like all the weather trend dance came through primary school, through secondary school, I was always doing that. And then one guy called Benny was, did some dance thing in the school or whatever. And then I found out there was a dance thing in the school, I didn't even know there was one. 
because I was actually like with every, with like people and I was like that's gay. If I'm very honest, I was like that's a thing for gay guys. You know what I'm saying? And then took me to the dance studio and they were like street dance, doing street dance in it. And I was like, oh, so down that looks so good, that's interesting. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, but well, I'm better than that. Do you know? Because I was like from there, I was like, you always there's always competition when you're from like that type of life. It's always like who's better, and I was like, well, I'm better than everyone here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I've walked in, and I've started doing, you know, the basic things that you've seen on the TV. Do you know what I'm saying? And then the dance teacher showed me like a video of Philip Chibib, um, Pac-Man, and he's doing a so you think you can dance? Um, what's it called? Audition. And he's doing like some mad waves and stuff, and I was like, that is mad. I'm doing that. I was like, no one's gonna do that. I'm doing it. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And then I saw the twins as well, I saw them do that, like that Michael Jackson thing that they done. And I was like, well, it's mad. Like, I always copy the dance from the music videos at home and listen to the different types of music at home. You know, like my sister and stuff. But I was like, this is mad. Like, they're doing something different. Philip's doing some waving thing. Like, his body's moving like a, a jelly. Like, I didn't even know what I was talking about. But I was telling everyone about this thing. And then I just started going to this dance studio at lunchtime. So like my friends would go and they'd go smoke and, and like go to lunch or whatever and then I'd be like, I'll go to the dance studio because I've only got this much time in it, but I've got to be the best one. <laughs> so that was always my thing, I was like, I've got to be the best one. And then my dance teacher actually started to help me, like she sent me some more blue audition in the end. Um, and me and a girl called Yvette got, didn't even get in, but he made a training group underneath Boy Blue and then we got into that. And then I would like say nothing because obviously we were watching the Bratz videos, we were watching the Pied Piper and all of that stuff. I was like, say nothing. Like, I mean, this, I would be the best one in this now. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And that was literally my thing. And then I started to look back. And every time I looked back, someone was in prison or someone got stabbed or someone. And I was just like, well, I'm, nothing's even. When I'm here, nothing's happening to me. <laughs> like, it's, it's safe and I'm still being me. Mum wanted me to be really like academic because I did get good grades in school. But I was just like, I shut to the side. She was like, You go to uni? I was like, No. <laughs> I was like, I'm going straight on to do some tour. And I just went straight on to tour with, with Blaze. Um, and that's where I met like Sheldon and like, Chloe Dean and like these different dancers from around the world. And I was like, This is mad. So I'm in Turkey, I'm dancing. I got into Boy Blue, not really in it, but. Do you know what I'm saying? And they realised I can freestyle now and all of that stuff. And then I've met Dwayne and um, Arthur D. And he's dancing in the lobby at Maryland Studios. I've got the Boy Blue, the Boy Blue rehearsals. But every time I go in, I'm seeing this guy, like this guy with his high tops just dancing <laughs> by himself. Every time I'm there, I'm like, what's this? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm still a bit from the road as well. So I'm a bit like, who's this guy? Like, so I'll just sit down there like, with my hat down. And everyone at Boy Blue will tell you about when I used to do that with my hat like this, a bucket hat. I used to just sit there and just watch the wheel like this. Be like, what's this guy doing? But something's happening, it's mad. Something mad is happening. I don't know what's happening, but it's mad. Because obviously, when, when you join Boy Blue, you're mainly doing like choreo and learning how to get choreo. So I wasn't even freestyling. So, and the, the only freestyle I was doing was animation um, at the time. But I'd see this guy doing this thing. And I didn't know it was hip hop. And I was like, wow, I'm doing that as well. Be the best at that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when I'm young, like, this is when I'm like um, 16, 15, 16. And I'm just seeing Dwayne like every day for like years. So I've just gone, I'm, I'm training. Be, like, I just started like being there and they started standing up there. And then they started doing it. And then he started to actually explain to me what hip hop was and what he was doing. And at the time, he would used to tell mad stories. And I was reading the stories, but I wasn't reading how he was using the dance to tell the stories. So my mind now shifted into like the total art form of it. And the whole, oh, I have to be like this now, turned into, I have to tell a mad story now. And right, I've got mad stories to tell because the life I lived is mad. And then I was like, that's a combination. Then I was like, right, well, hip hop. I've been doing that for time. Like when I think about it, every channel thing I've done is a hip hop thing. I love this. If 
if you want to just like find a way to express yourself you want to do like a freestyle um situation where you, you're able to just um dance basically and do what you want to do then i would say what you want to do is find like hubs of people who freestyle rather than finding classes so if you're a person who wants to do freestyle dance which is like freedom of movement then what you want to do is like well obviously everyone could message me and i can point them in a direction but what you want to do is like find freestyle dance online on youtube or on instagram and stuff like that and find what you actually like first before you decide what you're doing you know what i'm saying but you do want to find what it is that you do because most people who do come from like a background have a style of dance they're doing or a culture of dance that they're doing um so it's about finding that community of people online getting in contact with them and speaking to them because it's a community anyway most people speak to each other all you have to do is ask questions um, and find what you like and stick to that and through that you will learn from all of these people of course ask questions um, that's something that people miss out a lot in this community they don't ask people questions when i started i asked everyone questions did you get who was henry duke at the time um i can't remember kashmir everyone asks everybody questions about how do you do this how do you do that how do you do this because everybody knows something yeah and you can always learn from everyone when you're doing freestyle it's literally like that um but if you wanted to maybe perform and express yourself then i'll say search up like companies like what you do um far from the norm um people like jade hack it up with contact for things in like fair definitely john dd and such a breaking convention um sadly as well so, and just find out what sort of projects that they have on for beginners or where they can direct you in terms of fair work so you can do stuff like that if you want to perform in a fair space um if you want to become like an agency dancer then you'd want to like learn choreography you'd obviously have to take classes um to learn how to do choreography find beginners classes at places like base um the hub um maryland studios or center stage studios um people teach there the best thing you can do is rock up or go online and just see what's happening basically check the instagram feeds and see what you teach and stuff like that see what you like again see what you want to do see what those people do so basically do a lot of research and ask a lot of questions once you do get into the community and find what you like um and all and keep branching out basically as much as you can until you find what you definitely want to do in the industry um if you want to be in the industry you can still like have it as a hobby if you want to just dance on the side and if you want to battle then you just have to find battle dances again everything is the same like depending on what you want to do so you do have the option to battle also perform with artists and stuff like that that's again through agencies and stuff like that you have agencies like Silas Movement or Free Your Style um, you have AMC K Dance and quite a few of them once you find one you find many um, apply for them um, as much as you want <laughs> and don't stop applying for them until you get in <laughs> basically because there's a billion people applying you don't have a time, time to look at like a billion applications um what else is there to do in dance yeah once you once you do get into community the best thing you can do is explore if you want to do anything dance and hip hop if you want to go to hip hop you then you want to really figure out who the key people are to actually learn hip hop from um or to like read about or research which is for me coming from america is the elite force the rock steady crew uh pop and pee all of those people once you get in there and you ask questions about them and you research them you also see their surrounding people then you'll see the sugar effect and that's what you're looking for the key people to learn from in the communities um and the people that resonate that in your area or where you are in London or wherever you are the people that resonate with what the message that those people give you are probably the next set of people you should learn from rather than what everybody's looking at.